I'd just like to take an opportunity to welcome uh, all our passengers on board, as well as uh, all of our guests from the different business groups in Conrail. Looking forward to, uh, to an excellent trip today. I'd like to take an opportunity to introduce Mr. Ron Conway to you, who is the uh, new AVP of Petrochemicals. Ron previously was the general manager of the Philadelphia Division and taking the train today. So let me introduce Ron Conway. Um, it's a pleasure, as Jake said, to have you all along. Uh, as we uh, as we take our trip today, we're probably will be on the train for about seven hours, getting back to Philadelphia somewhere around 4:30. Uh, the route today is uh, via our Harrisburg line to Reading, and then our Lehigh line from Reading to Allentown by Bethlehem Steel Corporation, and into Northern New Jersey. Uh, we're going to turn the train around in, in northern New Jersey at a place called Oak Island and then uh, come back south on what we call the Trenton Line, which brings us down through uh, Westland, Sheltonham, and back into Philadelphia, right back to 30th Street Station. If everything goes as scheduled, we should be back around 4.30. Uh, as, we, uh, as we make the trip today, we'll try to point out some interesting sidelights of the railroad as we go along. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to don't hesitate to ask them. Um, I haven't cleared this with Jimmy Dunn yet, who's uh, our division road foreman at Philadelphia, who's on the head end. But uh, if uh, folks would like to go up in small groups to the locomotives, that can be arranged. Uh, I'd also comment uh, because of the number of people on the trip that uh, those of you that are on the rear car, the observation car, as the day goes along, perhaps you might vacate this end of the car and go up a little forward so that some folks that are riding up toward the head end would have the opportunity to sit back here and view the railroad. Um, but that, again, is voluntary, so we'll just uh, let that let that play out. I think uh, the attendants on the, on the train have arranged for lunch, buffet style, which we'll around 12 o'clock so as we go along here uh, uh, you'll uh, you get to get to talk to a lot of con railers who are on the trip and of course if you have any questions we'll all attempt to answer them. Uh, we just are on Amtrak's uh, railroad right now and uh, in the next few minutes here we'll cross over and get on what we call Conrail's track and, uh, and head west toward, uh, toward Reading. In case you didn't get one, we have name tags for everyone uh, when you wanted to train a car of 10. Uh, we also have a map of the route today. Uh, if you did not get one, we have those as well, and we'll make sure you do. Please just ask. All that irregular track that you're going over right now is not maintained by Conrail. I want to point that out. <laughs> as soon as you get, oh, you just, you feel that? We just got on Conrail. See that? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a, uh, and you'll see that, uh, you probably won't have to put up with that again for the rest of the day. Because until we get back here, we have to go back in the 30th Street Station. This is called uh, this is called Zoo Tower right here. Uh, uh, as we left 30th Street Station, if you were looking out the uh, left the right window, if you're looking out the rear of the train, uh, there was a train up on the uh, what we call the High Line, which is our freight route through Philadelphia. The train up there uh, probably, and I'm not sure about this. I'd have to ask one of the operating guys on the board. But there was a train up on that High Line, and what that train does. Uh, it goes up there and we uncouple the engines from the end and run around the train and then go over to Camden via Amtrak. We utilize uh, all our trains coming from the west that go over to South Jersey, utilize Amtrak's railroad from where we just came, Zoo, over to North Philadelphia, and then they get back on Conrail and go into Camden. Conrail has a plan in place to build a connection over on the other side of the river, which will eliminate that move in 1993. Train upgrade, air pressure, so that, that dial to the speed on the 
This one take place in 93. Air pressure, yeah. It's yeah. a uh, class $6 million dollar capital project. So, uh, you apply the stars back in here, and on here, and on these out of the bricks, just like you can come up. Yeah. So, 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 uh, basically, on pass through, pass through operation by the standard, standard pressure is on the ten pounds. That's the safety feature for the train parts. The train parts, part the air hose, 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 the the air the air hose, the the air the air the air hose, the the air the air the 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 air the air the 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 I couldn't too long ago. Big air pump on the floor. Took care of that. Nice little system. You changed the gauges, Bill. Yeah, we got rid of the digital. Put that in the. Uh, yeah, that was a good idea. See, brake pipe pressure's going down. I'm just making a break. 10 pounds reduction on the right. He releases that that needle go back up to one, uh, one penny, which is what they There's a piece. that traffic with the CSX. For those of you that uh, are familiar with our acid trains and our Tropicana juice train, uh, that's the route of uh, those trains. We Normally with the CSX today, we run the power of the engines and uh, change crews here and the engines go right through. I happened to be in Virginia the other day and saw some Conrail locomotives uh, south of Richmond. So. As I say, the uh, engines and go through with the crew point right there, and it's just a matter of getting on and off the train, and that's how the interchange is uh, consummated. This is the former right Reading Company, was one of the six predecessor railroads. This was former Conrail. This, this uh, right of way was surveyed back in 18. This first sea run laid out in 1845. Joe McDermott, of course, you know, I'm not calling you. We're going to have a new railway network. That's what it is. Wow. 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 Well, 
coming down, just like you see this rail over here on the left, this one right in the middle, it's got the uh, tie plates stacked up on it. That's the new rail that we're going to we're going to change out the rail on these two tracks. And we'll make the joint, instead of having the joint bars, we so make it like the like just put the welder together. We used to have a big problem with it. So you see over here, see the this last track over here is still the, what we call jointed rail with the yes, yeah, three nine foot sections. And they just pulled them together. So, the romance of rail. Yeah, but it rides a lot better. It rides a lot smoother. Moves trains a lot better. Right, a lot less wear on the wheels and track. Get the clumpy clump. Well, post two there. On the right, looks like we're tearing up a. Yeah, they're retiring that track. Retiring. That's the euphemism for tearing up. It's called retiring. Retiring. An unused or needed piece of. Well, that rail there is well, the rail. We treat that rail as second grade rail. We use it in yards or offices. We don't our basic rate of our rail is 136 pounds. When we talk about pounds, that's per that's per what yard? That's how we measure our standards. Uh, this here's an interlocking that switch. Power driven is controlled by a train dispatcher. He sits with rail and CRT The train goes along. Yeah, he's got a toggle. So he's tracking with his right Oh, yeah. He's, he's, well, he knows exactly where he thinks. That's where he knows exactly where he's going. As he goes through each interlocking, he's tracking the tie lights from the train. Right, right. Brown cable. As he goes across the tie lights, he's reversed the train. He's going to be on the other side. That's right. Oh, yeah. When we come back, that's the trend line. We're going to come back to that. We're going to come back to that. These are the instructs the engineer about track occupancy and speed. Is it different signals? Is it just a simple red and green system? Oh, no, no. There's 12 aspects. 12 different combinations of red and yellow. And the engineer knows what those signals display. In other words, that signal there, if you had a red or a five green, it's a little clear, which means you can have diverged on them. Yellow over flashing green is protein of protein. So it has all the different aspects. It's a yard. That's equivalent to your P and D vehicle. That's our version of a P and D. That's our pickup and delivery. That's our yard switch. This is road power here. These are three thousand horsepower locomotives. Those are road tracks. No sleeper cabs. No sleeper cabs. No. Uh, frown of people who lose their jobs for trying to get yeah. to sleep with them. Yeah. All the sleep with them. Yeah. Right before the airport. Is he waiting for us to clear? Yeah, he's, he's, he's going yeah. back up on the single track. Where we just came down from. Yeah. A lot of coal. These are one of the top coal hoppers. <laughs> How long will they let him sit there until they swap him over? Until we get He'll probably be lining up the room now. As soon as we pass that signal, right. the interlocking is clear. And then the dispatcher can now have to go all the time. Did they tell him over a radio that down here to see? Or how does no, no, he know he'll watch that signal. He'll watch that signal.
you try to communicate with well, the system, system. 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 system
you'll notice lately that you, if you get the Philadelphia Inquirer on Sunday, you'll notice that the travel section, I think it is, is now in color. And the reason for that, of course, is this building that you see here on your right. We, uh, we bring traffic to this building and interchange it with uh, the Brandywine Railroad, which is owned by Luke and Steel, and they place the cars uh, at the industry. Sold on that bridge. You guys remember when we did that? You guys See, they come over here and get their cars now. Right here. Yeah, there it is now. I was a little ahead of myself there when I pointed that out to you. Those are not kind of locomotives over there, by the way. <laughs> Just a second, you'll pass under the uh, Pennsylvania Turnpike and what we call our Morrisville line, which is uh, formerly on the PRR called the Trenton Cutoff. That first bridge there is a railroad bridge, the second bridge is the uh, Pennsylvania Turnpike. Trains from the west, destined to uh, 
best into Morrisville, come down this Harrisburg line and divert off to the left uh, back at the... But there used to be a tower there and manned by an operator, and now it's remotely controlled from the train dispatcher's office at uh, Mount Laurel. On your right, if you're looking out the rear of the train, is uh, what we call our Abrams Yard. It's a classification yard that basically uh, takes care of local industry uh, in this uh, general service area. The uh, train here, right, is a uh, is a Conrail. That's a rapid discharge train. That train that uh, we just went by on our right, if we're looking out the rear, is a aggregate train that uh, uh, comes out of uh, Wimpy Minerals in Anvil, Pennsylvania, and comes down here to uh, Abrams and goes to various destinations, either in Delaware or in the Philadelphia area. That one there may be for uh, Port Richmond. They've established the distribution point of Port Richmond and source the ballast from Anvil to Port Richmond. <laughs>
considers people to leave Brockton for six weeks. And what we do with the rail program, we now that big expanse back there, we were talking about Abrams Yard. That was that, that wide section of the Yeah, in other words, yeah, that's the yard. The main goes around both sides. And we use that to set up blocks of stuff in there. Yeah. That's in the Philadelphia initiative. Various customers. Yeah, you handle all the gas. And then on the outbound side, because of the planes coming off the Morrisville line, they merge to Uh huh. So we set blocks of traffic around that are going into two different lines. Uh huh. Okay. okay. You have a much better view. In fact, it's like a hundred of the big walk up to the oh, existing rail. Thing. See things. Look at the piano. Uh, uh, there's fifth rail in the late 60s. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. And the rail is out of the That's why the railroads were 
realistic. Pretty hard.
And we won't go back.
Going closer to Pennsylvania, the Poconos, uh, Route 80. You take Route 80 and then. I guess it would be about a good hour from, uh, from Wayne into the water line of the, uh, the Delaware Water Gap. They go up that way. You can see it all. Yeah, yeah. Are you working for a good customer? I gotta say that I have nothing ever bad to say about you. You seem to be a little better worker than some of the other larger companies. Although you probably, uh, I'm sure you see a lot of nightmares too. Uh, people tripping over one another. Is that thing running now? But I mean, the judge the fact that you're going to have that, uh, I think you're better than some of the other customers. That all lodges are like that. They're really disorganized. They don't even have to be. They don't have a <laughs> Even as small as we are, we see things that are crazy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm sure. I work with all modes. All trail, LTL, van, uh, anything that moves anywhere. Warehouse selection, bulk tank selection, uh, importation, the parcel vessels, regular import clearance. I have a guy that specializes in that. Rail cars, um, DOT. I do all the quality, responsible care. Uh, but, uh, our secret is consolidation. We use uh, now I'm only using 23 carriers nationwide. And that's all I. That's all you should be. Really, that's all I will be. Now you become uh, significant to their bottom line. If you're giving them all over the business. Uh, you're getting rates that are reasonable. Uh, you're getting service that is uh, good because you can demand it now because you're giving the guy a big share of the business. Uh, that's the way you do that. Now the company of your size is going to have conflicts between the vision A and the vision B. You've got a little less control. You'll always have it because you're structured that way because you're being on. The scary part is where the DMV is going to come in because they're really going to have to determine uh, who you're going to be using so you can sleep at night if you're going to get a regular massage. That's what scares me. Uh, you guys are going to be involved in this, or I can control it. Something happened to the, the guy got a cheap rate, but the guy from DOC checked him out and he wants to get his in his file. He doesn't have his registration, or he doesn't have his uh, safety rates, or he doesn't have uh, CTL as a driver. It's like he's a broker on my own. Idealistically, uh, it's not going to work. Let's put it that way. You can't have anything. You can do it. 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 You can
Did you go see the car car going on? I don't know. 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 I We've discouraged it. I think they've kind of given up on it for the time being, but they have the right. At least they feel like they have the legal right to Oh yeah, the Reading had service. Oh, yeah. It was actually Jim Cannon. Jim Cannon and I were together. This is one guy up to three million shots. Yeah. I've been here since 83, and of course, there hasn't been any service. Yeah. But you can do it. We're also looking at the uh, service uh, over on Lawrenceville and Morrisville. I know they think we're the right That we're a little more flexible on because we don't have the volume, the number of trains there. But here, this is a pretty heavily traveled line. We probably do uh, 40 or 50. What do you do, about 40 million gross on this yeah, plant? Yeah, we do about 40 million. About, about 25. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you can separate your operations on the same right away, well, that's one thing. But you can kind of use good. Is that goes into Reddick downtown. We're going to go around with I don't think it would take place on the first time. I think it's a pretty worthy equipment. No, but I don't think it's going to be You're coming to Reading and you're on a line at uh, what, what yeah. they call a belt, which goes around Reading's proper. Uh, there's two ways through Reading from Philadelphia toward Allentown. You can either take the route that we just passed, which takes you through downtown Reading, or what's called the belt line, which takes you around it. What happened, sir? This line that we're on now is what's called a belt that takes you around Reading. Uh, Reading proper. Uh, it's a freight route that's uh, used to uh, to. Uh, to get through Reading uh, a little faster, uh, there's a route that uh, we just passed uh, that will take you to downtown Reading for traffic that, uh, for rail traffic that terminates in Reading or is uh, picked up at Reading for, to advance either to Philadelphia or to Allentown or Harrisburg. Uh, these are all former Reading Railroad lines uh, that we have kept and upgraded over the last 10 to 12 years. Right the rear of the train, you'll see Reading on your left uh, here about the uh, two Sometimes you mail three to uh, 1040. 1040 at Bell?
single track east of us, in other words, the track that we have to occupy will hold here until he right, comes by it, us and then we'll uh, proceed east after he uh, gets off the single track. So the delay should be uh, short duration. East after he uh, gets off the single track. So the delay should be uh, short duration. That's a mail train that uh, Left That's a mail train uh, originated in the uh, I don't know uh, Jersey this morning, part of their, I would guess, probably between 7 and 7.30. Uh, uh, the uh, final destination is East St. Louis. I don't know that I've seen him, uh, but I know that he has 62 uh, cars, uh, and he's designated as a mail train, and it's symbol is what we call mail crew. Yeah, they're all lined up. Taxes and so anyways, it's going to be handy. You look out the uh, rear of the train here, you can see that uh, now that that mail train is passed, we're going to proceed, and you can see lined up there are three other trains that will follow us east uh, toward Allentown. One of the symbols is a BIAL, which is a train that came from uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and will go to Allentown to switch. Uh, another one that's lined up there is a train called PIOI, which is also a train that originated at uh, Conway or Pittsburgh, and will go through Allentown to Oak Island, traffic destined for North Jersey. And the other one uh, looked to me to be a local freight train that probably has industry work here in the Reading uh, area. CSAL. If you remember when we left Philadelphia, I pointed out to you that we uh, have run through service with the CSX at Park Junction. This train came up from, uh, from the south uh, off the CSX system 
interchange to Conrail at Park Junction. We'll go to Allentown to switch for various destinations on Conrail. being a freight road, they also uh, run passenger excursions on their lines. Uh, I think during the summer they run them pretty much every day, and then they have uh, they have a uh, weekend uh, weekend short line service. Thank <laughs> you. 